Hi, right now you can already write a powerful reverb algorithm, but an algorithm isn't everything. There are the coefficients and delays, and there's nothing more important in defining those than the seed. The more you use the polymorphism, the more it matters, since it can change the entire algorithm. At some point, you may notice that you spend too much time clicking the seed button. So, is there a better way? Sure there is. The Smart Seed Generator. Let's test it out on a simple but powerful algorithm. It's a circular comb with diffusers and dampening. Now, let's open the Smart Seed Generator and leave it running for a while. It analyzes random seeds, detects various psychoacoustic factors, and then sorts the seeds according to your specific criteria. By default, it takes all factors into account, but for the sake of this demonstration, let's show how to find seeds which would minimize resonances, since this algorithm can be quite prone to them, especially with low complexity. So I'm going to set all thresholds to maximum, since I don't want to remove any seeds. And then I'm going to set the weights to 0%, except for the resonance, which tells the generator that I want to minimize resonances. And let's see what we have. Let's press the calibrate button first. Now a few seeds from the beginning. And from the end, These are considerably more resonant. There are many criteria available by the generator. Many of them are rather complex to detect mathematically. So the accuracy is far from 100%. So you always need to use your ears, but it can still save you a lot of time. Now to the next task in hand, stereo field management. It's surprisingly hard to make a reverb that would sound centered. That's because the brain processes the very complex psychoacoustic features and detects the location of the audio source from them. Forget panorama, that's just the tip of the iceberg. Even worse, it just takes seconds to get used to the sound and not being able to judge the stereo field correctly. Consider this example. First it sounded a bit off, but then you got used to it and it stopped sounding bad at all. But now click the mid button. And back. And you can hear it's off again for a few seconds. This is a very complex topic and I'd strongly suggest reading the documentation about that. The good news, however, is that most reverbs on the market do not actually solve this issue at all. Now the question is if you want to design mediocre stuff or something better than that. In any case, the Smart Seed Generator can help you with this again. Before we finish the subject, however, there are a few tricks you can use. First, the module. It takes the reverb signal and assumes it's encoded as mid-side, even though it probably isn't, and converts it to a normal left-right representation. Let's check an example. First, a not exactly ideal reverb. And now with the module added to the end.
Another trick can help the stereo field and also makes the reverb true stereo, which means that the left output is produced from left input, but also from right input. The difference between this and the cross parameter is that the right input is using a different signal path. This produces much more natural results, but usually requires additional CPU. In M-Turbo Reverb, not so much. The module at hand is Swap. What it does is simple, swaps the left and right channels. This is especially useful inside the feedback path, and it can help you get rid of remaining resonances. Let's check an example. That's our classic simple reverb. Now let's make it true stereo. I intentionally set the probability that the swap would be bypassed to 90% because we want it to happen only from time to time. The reverb is now more even and centered. One final hint, it's often useful to check the impulse response. Simply play an impulse and check how the reverb sounds. There's a chance that the left channel will be shorter than the right channel or vice versa, which again asks for the swap module to be used. Well, since you've made it this far, you're almost like an expert in reverb design by now. All you need to do is practice. Good luck, have fun, and let us know if you create something marvellous. <laughs>